Yeah, at this point in my career, I've been able to talk about a, a set of ideas in a lot of mediums. So, you know, magazine work, books, podcast, TV show. Um, when I think about that, I can't help but remember th this thing that was in the air when I was in graduate school where Amazon was becoming a big player in books and small bookstores were vanishing and everyone lived in this sort of state of uh, fear about the future and that, that we were trying to go into an industry as authors and the industry is under attack by technology. And I think that some people, I, I realize that some people are like easily dissuade from what they want to do because of these perceived threats. And I remember making a conscious decision to not be afraid of emerging technologies and media and to just embrace them rather than being like, oh, this new thing is going to destroy my ability to do whatever. And, and, and I stopped thinking about that it was books that I loved or that it was magazines that I loved or even TV shows that I loved or podcasts that I loved. Like I stopped thinking about that when I thought about like, I love, again, this like set of ideas that I want to talk about, this subject that I want to talk about. That's the thing. Uh, how I do it, I don't care, right? There'll be new things that I haven't thought of yet and I'll run toward them rather than the, the tendency that I had a long time ago, which was to just always be afraid of what's coming down the road. Uh, well, it's funny too, because I like to hunt, you know, and people, and, and fish, and people look at those, some people look at those things as like, uh, like old timey activities and that you must, you know, if you'd like to do those things, it must be that you hate anything new and you just embrace, you know, these anachronistic ideas. Uh, but I think that most people I know that hunt a lot and, and, and fish a lot and spend time outdoors, they're able to, uh, function quite well in the modern world and they don't view their activities as anachronistic. They view it as like very relevant to their lives right now in today's age. And it just has that value. And it doesn't need to be this commentary on whether you like things from before or in the future, you know? So I, I have a hard time thinking about the activities I do in that way, the same way the, the work that I do in that way. That was a well-timed squirrel chatter. He's like, I'll let this guy finish. <laughs> <laughs>